Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a rough week for Hell Divers 2 and really PlayStation fans in general. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. We are here with some Hell Divers 2 news. I have not been covering this uh, lately because simple simple fact that I don't know, it's it's not been great when it comes to newsworthy things. I think they're still having a lot of issues uh, and stuff. But uh, on to on to that, we are we have a big elephant in the room that is going to take up too much time to talk about anything else. So we're just going to get right on into this. As we know, Hell Divers 2 is now enforcing their account linking update system that has been um brought, you know, to the attention, you know, officially. Um just to read it and you know just so we can just go through everything it says due to technical issues at the launch of hell divers 2 we are allowed to we are we allowed the linking requirements for steam accounts to a playstation network account to be temporarily optional that grace period will now expire see details below in this post so uh really i just want to break down what they're saying here and this is where i kind of extend the grace and i'm a playstation owner so i mean this doesn't affect me but it does affect other people especially the ones that cannot own a playstation account on uh psn or in whatever region with that being said i will say this though uh with them being you know expressing to us that at the launch of hell divers 2 we got to remember guys the game was not playable i mean it was it was even a hassle to even get into the game so um i think that they were trying to work on damage control there and i think that this was put on the back end um i i understand the the backlash i do um we're gonna get into what the backlash is but i understand also don't get why it's going so far as it is because again like it just was kind of you know they did say something and you know like i said we have to consider the they didn't know that everybody was going to be playing this game. They didn't know it was going to have like up to 400k, you know, at launch week, and and they didn't know it was going to sustain 98,000, you know. Now, so it's a, it, I think we can, can extend a little bit of grace, especially since the studio this is not their fault. But like, but Sony, it was there, and they did say that it was optional, and you know, so I don't know. It's a for me, it's a, I'm in the middle here. I'm in the middle. I really am. But moving on, he says. Account linking plays a critical part or critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation, PlayStation Studio games. This is our main way to protect players from getting griefing and abusing by, by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. So as you can see here, this is just basically a way to get, you know, you know, people banned in some way my opinion on this and this is where the seesaw effect is coming to play uh if you're already on a steam account if you already have somebody's uh, information why do i need to do it again to another account when i'm playing the game already with whatever if you want to take off crossplay, cool like understandable but why would i like i get it i get it i mean as me like i have a pc now i have a pc so it's like mm, i would like if i didn't have a playstation I mean, I would want that option still to like opt out in a way. So I don't like that, you know, it's that, you know, it's gotten to a point where it's like, oh, you got to do it like this or you can't play the game. I think that's where the problem is. It's like, okay, maybe I can't play cross play or maybe I am opted out of certain, you know, aspects of the game. Not like, not aspects in terms of like full game, like, you know, menu screens or something. Just like maybe um, I can't access, you know, different, certain planets because maybe, you know, I don't know, something that'll, you know, compensate it. Not a complete like, oh, you got to link your account or you have no access to the game. And so that's where I feel like the middle ground is because I definitely wouldn't want that if I was the case. The big issue here is though, is the PSN region thing, because really and truly, if you're a PlayStation player and your and PSN is in your region, the only other option or re region or excuse I don't think you have to not download it is maybe because you are concerned with hacking issues from Sony, which every single major company is hacked. And I don't know, you can argue who gets hacked more, but I mean, one hack for me is done. I'm sorry. I if one company gets hacked. I don't, I don't want them to get hacked again. Oh, they get hacked less and it's like oh they still get hacked so it's like i don't know the whole thing the whole hacking argument to me is like kind of like a okay whatever that's like that's like a kind of like a preference thing it's not like you know i think we're all using we're all using things that people can hack into so with that being said yeah i mean if 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 it's not for you um i i get it if you're in a different region i get it but if you're not i mean you can take the five three minutes 
if you want to support the cause, I guess, I mean, go ahead. But I think you, taking the three to five minutes to make it a, a PSN account doesn't really hurt. But if it's coming from a real objective standpoint, then, yeah, I, I completely understand. Now, what I don't understand is the uproar of, like, you know, the, the review bombing. That part is what I don't have a, 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 what I have a problem with. I don't understand why the whole game should be trash because simply Sony has put up a, a wall of some sort and we know that it's Sony and we think that we're hurting Sony. And this is where I tell people that this is the problem with uh, gamers and how they, you know, try to make this activism, you know, type of movement. Um, Sony already knows <laughs> how we operate. <laughs> they are hanging these co- they are hanging these companies out to dry. Okay, same thing with Stellar Blade. Okay, we're attacking the game, but that's exactly <laughs> what Sony is expecting. <laughs> and it's so funny because it's like they're not going to ha- get hurt because all they're gonna do is like, oh, well, I guess we'll never make those types of games anymore. Next. They're not going to care. So we're trashing the devs. We're trashing the game's product. And, the, and Sony's just like, oh, well, they got to do what we say. So I'm just going to hang them out to dry. If they, you know, if they fall, they drown. That's on them. It's up to them to keep the game up that they really want. You know what I'm saying? So, so they don't care about. The thing is, you think they don't. They, you think they don't care about us. They definitely don't care about the devs. So us attacking the game does not help. What we need to do is uplift the game more and encourage the development team and encourage the company to branch off so that they can sustain without a publisher or sustain without Sony specifically. And I think that's smarter in my, in my opinion, but I don't know. It, it, again, so, you know, I mean, into the rest of the thing, just like my whole breakdown of the article, um, you know, it, this is not coming into effect until May 6th. Uh, so basically any new players to the game, We'll have to uh, then make a PSN account. And if you do not, then you will be locked out. If you are in a regional based or if you're locked out regionally from PSN, they are working on a solution. I believe the devs, um, the CEO actually has been responding. You know how responsive he is. He has been responding. He has been um, keeping up to date and he has been basically apologizing and saying, you know, this is kind of not our entirely our decision. They did come out and say that, yes, we did partially make the decision based on um you know a hacking you know banning accounts um but the decision to roll it out like this i think that was sony's i don't think arrowhead i think arrowhead wanted the playstation linking i don't think that i don't think that altogether is like oh arrowhead didn't we no i think they did but i think at the same time they didn't want it to roll out like the way it did but again like i said in the first half of the video we have to give them a little grace in my opinion because the launch of the game wasn't successful even though it was it was successful but kind of not successful you know everybody would they expected so little but everybody jumped to the game and they had to fix it so it was like i think they just forgot or they put it on the back burner and they you know they did say it was optional for a while so i don't know what do you guys think what do you guys think is it, is it upset for you if you're one of the players that are affected i'm sorry how are you feeling let me know leave a like and this video. subscribe if you're new and you some more hell divers 2 content peace so as I'm re- editing and I, I, I listen, I didn't see this until like this morning, but it's back, guys. It's back. They uh, so this video is gonna be a little bit longer than expected. So that first eight minutes, um, of course, I, I just wanted to talk about the whole thing. Uh, got it out a little late, but they they literally reversed every single thing. They uh, reversed the account linking. Hell divers has won and all that good stuff. <laughs> I don't, again, it, to me, again, like I said previously, it doesn't really affect me uh, in any other way. It does affect everybody else. But, like, again, in the grand scheme of things, yeah, I mean, it's, it is it is what it is. I mean, it, it was such a simple change either way. Like, you either could have made the account or not. They already banned people from not playing the game in other countries, which is what y'all said. But the thing is, now, the problem is now this. <laughs> now that y'all are, now that y'all asked to, for the for the game not to be available in countries that, that don't have PSN, they can't play the game anymore now that the the account linking is off because y'all took that thing off so i hope that they put the regional uh restraint back on or prohibition or whatever but i mean they, they, you know it just had to add this in there let you guys know that they did revert the change everything is back now uh, well well everything's not going to be the way it was it, it's going to be the same but i think they're going to incorporate some different things just to make sure they're not you know addressing make sure they are addressing the hacking issue and stuff but uh yeah you'd be like on this video subscribe if you're new and that is all i have for you guys today let's get it